right, here we have 6x minus 4 is less than 2x, or negative 3x is less than or equal to negative 9. So, or, we're including all the numbers that is in these two inequalities. So first we need to solve each of these inequalities. So I'm going to move that 4 to the other side. Therefore, I can get my x's on the left side. So I get 6x is less than or equal to 2x minus 4. And then we need to move that 2x to the plus 4 because we added. Then we need to move that 2x to the other side. So now I'm going to subtract 2x on both sides. So now I get 4x is less than a positive 4. And lastly, I'm going to divide by 4. So I get x is less than 1. There's one of my inequality answers. So this next one I need to solve also. So I'm going to divide both sides by negative 3. Remembering that I'm dividing by a negative, so I'm going to flip that sign. Negative over negative is a positive. 9 divided by 3 is 3. So now we're going to graph this on the same number line. We have 1 and we have 3. Okay, so in this first one it says x is less than 3. Parenthesis, where x is less than 3. The next one says where x is greater than or equal to 3. So I'm going to do a bracket, and it's going to the right. So in this case, we are using both of them, all the numbers. So we have x is greater than, less than 1, and x is greater than or equal to 3 as my answer. If we were writing this in set notation, it would be from negative infinity to 1 and from 3 to positive infinity.